Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna bake up some falafel. What's a falafel? Falafel is just chickpea. It's just garbanzo beans. It's a fried fritter of garbanzo bean, but we're not making a fritter because we're not frying them, we're baking them because it's healthier, but that's not really why we're doing it. We're doing it because it's easier. You know, it's less of a pain. That's why I'm using the can, because it's less of a pain. I'm gonna drain it and I'm gonna rinse it. One can of garbanzo beans, and then most everything is gonna go in a food processor. My hands are not freakishly large, it's just the angle of the camera. I'm putting half of the beans in there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw some onion and three cloves of garlic. But you know, just put two if you're not a garlic lover like I am, because that's very garlicky if you put three. And then I'm gonna put in my spices, some coriander, some cumin, some cayenne pepper, a little baking powder, some salt. The cayenne pepper is optional. You know, if you're not interested in the heat, you know, don't use it. But if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen, as they say. Some cilantro and parsley, fresh, quarter cup each. But you don't have to use both of them. If you just want to use a half a cup of cilantro or a half a cup of parsley, that's going to be fine too. A little bit of olive oil, and then I'm going to top it with the rest of the beans from the can. You know, this is still just the same can. I just like to put them on top so my spices and stuff don't stick to the top of the processor because all I got is this little rinky dink one that I make hummus in. And I'm not gonna process it for very long. You know, just a quick little grind, grind, then beat the machine and say bad machine so the machine knows it's been bad. And then I'm gonna look at it. See, I'm looking at it right now and it's not enough. So I'm gonna push it down and I'm gonna pulse it, you know, one more time just for a second because you don't wanna over process this stuff. You know, you're not gonna puree it. You're not going to liquefy it. You know, you want it to have a lot of texture. And you know, the beans are soft already because they come out of a can. You know, they're gonna stick together just fine. Plus, we're gonna throw a little breadcrumb in there anyway. Just a itsy bitsy teeny weeny bit. So go ahead and get your mixture processed, throw it in a bowl, and then we'll go ahead and put a tablespoon of breadcrumbs or flour. And then, you know, we're ready. Well, we're almost ready to put it on a sheet. We're gonna put in some lemon juice too. You know, which you don't have to do. Sometimes I put in lemon juice. Sometimes I don't. It's not going to be the end of the world either which way. In this case though, it, it kind of, I think, uh, liquefied it a little bit more so that it wasn't as dry. So, you know, just kind of gauge that and whether or not you got a lemon. Now I'm going to use a tablespoon and I'm going to mound it on there. Each one of these is going to be about two tablespoons because it's a heaping tablespoon that I'm using to measure this. I'm going to get 10 out of this can, which I usually get, you know. If you want, you can just double up the size and make five, but I make the, I like to make the little rinky-dink ones that'll go in a piece of pita bread for a falafel sandwich, you know. So there you are, and I'm sliding it in the fridge, you know, letting it set for a little while, because they'll bake up better, they won't fall apart, but they're not gonna fall apart anyway, so you don't have to do that part. Before you're ready to cook them, go ahead and drizzle or brush some olive oil on there. You know, I don't have a brush because we just moved into this place and my brush is in Florida and I haven't bought a brush yet, so I'm doing this caveman style with my hands. You know, this is how uh, Neanderthals used to put the uh, olive oil on their falafels years ago. I'm sliding it into an oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes and then I'm pulling it out and then I'm doing the flip flop. You know, just turning them over. They're not done yet. And this is another reason you want them to be like these overinflated poker chip diskettes because they'll get more surface on the pan, you'll be able to get a little more color on them. You know, they'll be able to toast up a little bit better on the pan. But give them a flip, boom, back in the oven at 400 degrees, still, for 10 more minutes, and then that'll be it. You got some baked falafel. Are they as good as fried falafels? No, because they're not fried. But they are good, and they're easier to make, you know? They're delicious. You know, I love these things in a little pita sound or on a plate with some other stuff, which is how I'm gonna eat them. And look at this here, they're crispy on the outside and watch this here. Boom, nice and steamy, wholesome goodness and freshness in there. And here's the important part, watch right here, special effect finger, look at that. It's still moist inside. It's not a dried out, desiccated husk of a falafel. It's a nice, juicy, tasty falafel, just like a fried falafel, but not fried. Serving it up with hummus, you know, cucumber, tomato, blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever you want. You know, put in a pita sandwich. If you haven't, if you haven't had falafel before, super easy. Give it a go. Let me know what you think. Bon appetit. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll, put, I'll hook this up to uh, the hummus video. Because, you know, that's, uh, that makes sense. All right.